Hello from the Dukas Copy TV studio in Geneva. There is a humanitarian crisis coming with the migration from Middle East and Africa. How to respond to this crisis? I ask Monsieur Benoit Carpentier. He is senior media officer from the International Federation of the Red Cross Societies. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. So actually, um, this uh, topic about migration from the Middle East, from Africa has been going on, but it seems to escalate further and further. What do you experience at the IFRC uh, at your work in Europe? Well, we do experience more and more vulnerable people that are on the move. Um, they are coming from, as you said, from Africa, from the Middle East, I mean, at least in the, in the Mediterranean uh, context. We don't talk about migration crisis because for us there is no migration crisis. There is a humanitarian crisis around migration, but migration is something, is something that has always been there. People have moved from one place to the other for diverse reasons. Now we, what we're facing is more and more really desperate people that are, that are leaving their country because they are forced to by conflicts or uh, economic reason or climate change um, um, uh, reason. So we're facing more and more people that are arriving in a very, very difficult situation, difficult state, uh, more and more women and children uh, arriving on the coast of, uh, of Europe. So it's a, it's a real humanitarian challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, where particularly do you respond at the IFRC? And could you quickly outline the mission of the IFRC? What's the International Federation of the Red Cross about? So the Federation is an um, umbrella for national societies. We have 189 national societies in the world, the Red Cross and Red Crescent national societies. So they are the body implement, uh, responding to these uh, humanitarian challenges in their national context. We come as the Federation to help in, ca in case of emergencies, major emergencies and support. Um, so we deal with natural disasters, for instance, um, and also with issues like migration to help and support and provide humanitarian assistance. So in Europe at the moment, the main areas where we are, where our national societies are answering and responding with our support will be Italy. Uh, Italian Red Cross has been at the force in, of the um, response, helping the government and helping migrants who are arriving on their shores every day, hundreds of them every day. The Hellenic Red Cross in Greece, we have in Serbia, in Hungary, and these are the ones that are dealing with the current um, emergency. But a lot of other national societies have been, have been responding to the, to the migration issues and humanitarian challenges around that throughout the year. Um, in different contexts that are not as um, much uh, highlighted these days. Mm -hmm. And the IFRC just launched a campaign, Stop the Indifference. Uh, so what is this campaign about and where can people find more information about it? It's a, it's a campaign that is actually called Protect Humanity um, because it's, our collect it's a collective responsibility we have. People are in need of assistance, of help. We need to protect them. Uh, wherever they are and whoever they are, we need to provide assistance to them. And we, need, we can't just pretend that they, don't, they are not here. They are, they are there, they are suffering, and we need to help them. That's our call. That's a general call for the general public, but also for governments and for anyone that is involved in that. So you can find more information on our website on um, www.ifrc.org um, slash protect humanity. Uh, you'll, you'll find stories on um, different issues on migration in different parts of the world um, and also on what we have as emergency appeals uh, in, in different regions of the world linked to migration. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if people want to support, what are their current appeals on? Well, in Europe we have um, an emergency appeal in, in Italy, for Italy to support the Italian Red Cross. Over the world we have several emergency appeals which are linked to what we call population movement, whether they uh, people are fleeing conflict or uh, natural disasters or so um, they can go on our website and there's a donation page where you can you can you can find the different appeals that are existing mm -hmm. and just talking in general about communication and how it is to communicate for a non-profit organization that still finds itself in competition with other organizations there's so much uh, like need for help for humanitarian assistance so but obviously the IFRC is one of the largest and well-known brands out there so 
in your daily work, how important is it to reach out uh, now through these new uh, outlets like digital media, like social networks? Um, what do you experience in your daily work? Well, it's, it's a constant ad adaptation. As you said, there's a multiplication of actors, humanitarian actors um, there. So th obviously the competition for the funding, because we are actually trying to seek the same, uh, the same resources. So it's, it's make sure that we are um, on top of the game, I would say, all the time, whether in our communication, but also in our response. You can't have a communication that is um, uh, very sophisticated if, in return, you don't have the response on the ground that is, it is uh, up to, to speed. So it's a, it's a constant balance into, in between what we're doing and what we're saying and make sure that we reach out to people in very different ways than what we used to do with what we used to call traditional media. Now there's social media and Twitter and Facebook and all these tools that we need to use to actually reach out to the, the, the largest numbers. Benoit Carpentier from the IFRC here in Geneva, thank you very much for being here today. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Do make sure to keep clicking back on the Dukas Copy TV website for latest updates and exclusive interviews. Have a great day and see you next time. Oh, <laughs>